Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I'll tell you what, <laughs> that food was delicious and everybody in the studio is so happy and, and eating. Uh, everybody's down. behind the cameras eating. Natalie, I, she loves the pumpkin mousse. What are you eating there? I have a chocolate croissant right here with oh. some vanilla icing on that. How it's yummy amazing. is that? It is amazing. So good. It's flaky, it's chocolatey, and it's like a dark chocolate. It's not like milk. Oh, I this like is, the dark chocolate. And it's so healthy for you. It really is. I the love dark, dark chocolate. The dark chocolate is healthy for you. It really you. is good for yeah, you. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. So, we've got plenty of food to keep. <laughs> I'm flaking. Don't worry. We'll, we'll vacuum later. Don't mm. worry. Just mm. enjoy yourself. I will. I will. Okay? Mm. <laughs> but I am going to need to talk to you here in a minute. But, but mm. you go ahead. No, you go ahead. Mm. I've got one more of these, and then we're going to find out what you've been up to. Oh, now. from the potpourri. Yeah, from right. the potpourri. Okay. okay, what is your favorite dynamic duo in entertainment, music, or sports? Oh my. oh, my goodness. Now, you guys make some really tough questions here. Yeah, and you have to think about it. But and dynamic duo. Back in the day, it was Sonny and Cher. There you go. And I will tell you, I was a little kid when I used to watch their show, mm -hmm. and I it, the strangest thing happened when I found out they were separating or getting a divorce. Oh, my. I mean, all of this, I packed into it in a few years, the whole Cher thing. You know, when you're a kid, life is long, and it feels yeah. like things go on forever. Ever. When I heard, I don't even think I talked to anybody about it. I was so upset about them getting right. a divorce. Right. I think I just took the Sunny and Cher thing, I set it on the shelf, and I walked away from it, and I was just done. Like, I didn't follow her career after that. Right. I didn't, I was just like, Well, they were it, also it parents. Memory. They had the, the daughter, Chastity, mm -hmm. and you know, all this, oh, it's a happy thing, because you see them on TV, yeah. they're just, oh, wow, they're just working together. But you together. find out later, that last year or two, they mm -hmm. were on TV, actually, I think they were only on TV for two years, which, right. again, felt right. like a long felt time. Felt like a long time. Uh, it was like this the whole time. Yeah, a lot of friction, yeah. 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 Which is unfortunate, but you know, that happens in life, so yeah, we have to go. But you're right, yeah, sometimes I'm, I'm tired of that. I don't want to know anymore. I'm, I'm mad at them. Yeah, so well, I'm, it was just heartbreaking yeah. for right, a little right, kid. Right. Yeah, but, um, deal. Now, me growing up, uh, my brother Leland and I, we were big fans of Batman, Adam West, oh. and of course, oh yeah, and of course, and so my grandma Jewel and Grandma Mary made us little outfits, and we How would cute play is Batman that? and Robin all the time. Oh yeah. Now, who were you? Oh, I was Robin. Oh, you were Robin. I was Robin. smaller frame, you know. Okay. And then, of course, Leland was, of course, Batman. But oh my gosh, what great fun! Great uh, memories. Now, it got me in trouble though. Got me in trouble. How's that? Uh, well, we were at Grandma Mary's house down in uh, Green Mountain, Missouri. And of course, she also gave me some of her pantyhose because they had to wear tights, you know? And that's where it all started. It's where it all started right there. <laughs> this is all true. And so I remember uh, Grandpa said, All right, boys, we're going to go to. Uh, uh, Ethel Beckham store, because that was a local store right there. Mm -hmm. And so we get in the truck and all this, you know, and we're riding in the back of the pickup truck. Grandma's over there with Grandpa Ray. Things are going good. Stop over there, and I look down, and I'm realizing I got pantyhose on. I don't want people to think that I'm wearing pantyhose because, oh, exactly. you know, yeah. so I take them off, and I don't want them to blow out of the back of the truck. So I put them under the seat of the truck. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm a kid. You forget what I've done. I don't know what I have for breakfast. Yeah, you know? exactly. And so we get home. Back to their house uh, that afternoon. And now Grandpa accuses me, goes, All right, uh, now Terry, now you tell your grandma that you put those pantyhose underneath the seat. Because I didn't do that. It's because, you know, because Grandma's like, yeah. oh, Whose pantyhose are these? That reminds me oh! of the scene in Overboard. Oh, oh right, okay, yeah. Yes, yeah. I love oh, that how so funny. much. That, so, memories, such oh great my memories. Gosh, yeah. yeah, yeah. See, they later divorced. I always thought that was my fault because of the pantyhose. It might have been. True, <laughs> true. Um, anyway. Terry, speaking of uh, yes. your childhood, that probably led you to do all the characters that you do. Yes. Um, so tell us a little bit. We've got just a couple of minutes to talk about what sure. you're up to. Uh, right now, of course, uh, Silver Dollar City as Clarence Peabody, Stanton's oh. assistant. That's right there. What who, who wants, who, who gets. <laughs> and of course, we're over at what's uh, called the Carousel Barn, now known as Santa's Cottage. Uh, great fun. It is always fun. Uh, there are magic moments that happen that you just go, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. This is what it's all about. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, we had a young man uh, sort of uh, under the umbrella of autism, you know, oh. and the mother was really gravely concerned. She goes, now, this may not go well because he's not sure, and I just talked to him. Yeah, like this. made him feel comfortable. You, yeah, you give him that calming voice, and hello, what is your name? Well, let's go. Would you like to see Santa Claus now? Yeah, so I took his hand, he put his hand in mine, and we just gently walked over there. We sat down and said, Santa, this is Ryan. Well, hello, Ryan. And it, the mother was just like in tears because oh, she'd sure. never seen him so calm about this because it was a stranger, of course, the big hairy guy. It was amazing. And so, uh, and at the very end of it, he leaned over to Santa and he said, I love you. Oh, oh, of course. Then now, uh, yeah, now I'm, you're crying. Now I'm crying. Of course, the mom's crying. It was a, a crying kind of day. But I love that. Uh, you know, okay. that is wonderful. Oh, and, it is. And, and entertainment, those moments are special when you feel like that 
um, a connection. A you connection. made the connection and you touched, and it's also affected your heartstrings. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's really what this this is all about. And Christmas should be every day because it's about love, it's about giving, all those things. And so that's what uh, we love to do as entertainers. Now, of course, that's the daytime job, Silver Dollar City. Uh, let's see, on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, I'm still with CJ Newsom right. at the uh, Americana Theater in our classic country comedy and Christmas show. And as you know, being from Branson, uh, when we first went to Christmas about, uh, about 36 years ago, all the shows they went all Christmas. Right. Well, after people saw the third show in a row so at different theaters, they're, they're like, like, "Give us something please. else." So I love our show because the first half is classic country, mm -hmm. the good stuff, and then the second half is Christmas. Yes. So we give them a variety, two shows for the price of one. That is uh, good. Three nights a week. I'm also uh, the Grinch over at Big Cedar Lodge. Uh, and what time is that? Okay. Uh, Mondays it is what they call kids club. So uh, parents drop off uh, the kids who are staying there, and they spend three hours over there making crafts. We make. Uh, uh, Grinch pancakes. Uh, the Grinch and Cindy oh, Lou get to fun. spend time with them. Wednesdays we have a meet and greet. This is open to the public. Meet and greet. Uh, you get to have uh, hot cocoa cookies, uh, a picture with the uh, the Grinch and Cindy Lou, and the time like this, quality yeah. time. And then on Saturday nights at uh, four thirty, we have thirty minutes of music. Uh, last Saturday we had the Johnson Strings there, but oh, every nice. Saturday we have different musical mm -hmm. groups. And then from five to five thirty, it's the Grinch with Cindy Lou. Who and Bobby Boo Who, who is played by Bride and Brett of uh -huh. the Brett family. Uh, Abby Underwood, self. Uh, she is a little entertainer in Branson, also working at Big Cedar. And then we also have the Ice Princess. Oh, and, the Ice Princess. Yes, and that is played by uh, Mina. Mina uh, Brett, uh, Bryden's uh, lovely bride. And she, of course, is sort of like Elsa. As a matter of fact, uh, we build it as Elsa's cousin. Oh, and I like that. And she sings, Let It Go. Let, Let It go. go. So, yeah, so we're still busy all the time. Of course, Dee Dee and I still have the Airbnb. Grandma Bulos were on Facebook with that. Uh, booked up a lot. We're getting a lot of bookings for next year. And oh, that's next so great. Year. It is amazing. So I'm glad that's going busy. so well. We are, too. It's, it's a wonderful thing. Now, tomorrow's going to be Taco Tuesday, so I'll be with Little Halsey, and I've done that for almost three years now. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, look here. Well, there it is right there. That's Grandma Beulah's place yeah, right there. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I love that you're booking up so much. It's oh, so it homey and, and fun. Yeah, it's a 1909 farmhouse right there in Branson, Missouri, right behind or near the uh, Bob Evans area. Oh, it's right close there. to there. Yeah, Good. Fact, and Dee Dee and I live three blocks away, so we manage it the whole thing. You can take care of it. And That's we do wonderful. all the cleaning ourselves because I use my pine saw. Yeah. Oh, I know. So, yes. That's your favorite cleaning yeah, agent. Well, Terry, you're a Busy guy, I, I I appreciate your Always. enthusiasm and all that you Always. do. Always. Now we've had a lot of sugar. How about we when we come back we kind of uh, wind down with some wine. Oh, Old wine. That's my favorite four-letter word. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we'll be back right yes, after we this. Yes, we will with wine. You sure. You're